welcome to this roundtable discussion with graduate students at Waseda University's Faculty of Human Sciences. My name is Dr. Robert Gray. I have a background in applied linguistics and lifespan development studies. Hi, I am Dr. Noriyuki Noe, and I specialize in educational research methods, educational psychology. The purpose of this session is to introduce our students or those who are interested in academic programs, particularly our English-based Educational Innovation and Communication Studies Master's program. I'd now like to ask each student to give a general self-introduction and general background. Hi, my name is Sherry Fan. I was born in China, but I went to high school and college in California. After I graduated from college, I decided to come to Japan. So right now, I'm currently an M1 student in the edX program. Hi, my name is Yin, and I'm a master student. I come from Hangzhou, China, a famous tourist city near Shanghai. Actually, I have been working as a big data engineer at a tech company for three years. Three years. So it's a big challenge for me to be back in campus. Uh, but at the same time, I'm very excited. We look forward to hearing more about your study interests in the next segment. OK, I'd like to ask each of you about your academic interest. What are you interested in and researching about in your academic program? So I did a lot of research before submitting my application to Waseda University. And um, the reason I decided to study in Human Sciences Department is because Human Sciences Department contains interdisciplinary um, research areas. And um, I believe it will enrich my background knowledge because um, faculty members in Human Sciences Department focus on many different research areas. And receiving academic advice from those professors will be a big benefit for me. We'd like to learn how you got to learn about the academic program at Waseda. In this segment, I would like to ask each of you what it was that persuaded you to choose this particular program at this particular faculty. The research I currently engage in is a combination about the science of technique uh, and the education field. I mean, the online education is promising because it's low cost and uh, uh, allow people to share worldwide uh, education resource. Uh, actually, I participate in a project uh, to share Hong Kong's educational resource for intelligible disabled cho children to mainland China. And uh, also, there are many problems with uh, online education because uh, online education Online education shift uh, students from offline classroom to online environment. So they will face many problems. So to uh, further step, I want uh, to research about uh, what uh, online education can do more than offline uh, classroom. So actually, the reason brought me to the edX is. Uh, I saw the curriculum and I believe uh, with the supervision of the Inouye professor I can get uh, this problem uh, figured out. So that's the reason why I choose the project. So my research focuses on critical media literacy. Um, in short, it's a term that refers to one's ability to um, think of media messages critically, and so to think of how the viewer is being positioned. Um, this concept is not yet widely discussed in the Asian context, so I like to see how incorporate critical media literacy um, in Asian uh, education system, like to see how it goes. Um, and since my undergraduate studies focus on film and media studies, um, specifically, I would like to research how introducing this topic um, in college education changes people's perceptions of advertisements and their consumption tendency. 
Um, Japan is the leading country in terms of educational um, research and EDIX is a program designed to seek um, post-pandemic education possibilities. So I would like to continue my studies in English, thus um, programs like EDIX was the right answer for me. In the next segment, we would like to ask you about campus life. Well, Japan is indeed a great place to live. You know, Tokyo is the most uh, business city in the world, so you can uh, literally do anything here. Actually, I live in an urban area in Tokyo, and I go to the classes twice a week. Uh, actually, Tokyo is also an international city, so you can find many foreign communities here. I live in a Chinese community. Uh, I found that is a place can help me to get used to uh, a new life, a new place. And besides social uh, convenience, Japan is also a country with a beautiful scenery, scenery with a distinct uh, for season. You can enjoy in uh, red uh, maple in autumn and the cherry blossom in spring. That's really beautiful. That's good to know. And uh, I, I heard that you went to Kyoto this weekend. Tell me about your experience of visiting Kyoto. Actually, Kyoto is a city different to Tokyo because Kyoto is a city with many history streets. Um, so you can enjoy many many old many Japanese culture that's place. Next I would like to ask each of you for any advice you might have for somebody who is thinking about applying for the program that you are undertaking right now. Well I really recommend people with working experiments to join this project ethics because with your working experience, you can uh, uh, see the better see the picture of your research and balance your research and the job hunting. Uh, like me, so when I joined the program, I rethink my work. Uh, and uh, I mean, when I was working, I just uh, continually complete the job assigned by my leader, and now. I need to do my research, I need to think uh, things uh, with all aspects. Uh, also for those students who want to continue their research, I think it's a more better choice for you because with the supervisor, with this great uh, professor, I believe you did great in the uh, uh, research work. So for future students who are interested in applying to the EDIX program, I would like to give a few suggestions. The first one is to check out the website of Waseda Universities and the EDIX program. I found it very helpful because you can see each faculty member's academic interests and um, you can find who might be the best professors for your master's studies. And you will also get a sense of what the program is like by checking out the website. The second advice is to prepare in advance so that you will have more time to prepare and plan for what you're going to be studying in the, for, uh, in the next two years. Um, the third one is optional, but it would be nice if you can study basic Japanese before coming to Japan because it will help you to adapt to life in Japan better. And, um, but you could also do that later at Waseda Universities because Waseda University will provide you with Japanese courses as well.